come on here and show you all how I created my business card in Canva. Um, I call it my virtual business card, but it really is just a picture of a business card. So I got a few inboxes and I thought I would do a quick video to show you how I did it. Um, it's really, really simple. I use Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com. Um, I use Canva for um, just about everything. All of my marketing, I use Canva. I absolutely love it. Canva is um, it's a free um, app program or whatever, but I use it on the website, on, the, on a desktop computer, because it's a lot easier to maneuver. Um, they have a app on your phone, but it's not as user friendly on the phone, in my opinion. So I use Canva to create my Facebook posts, um, my logos, um, just about everything. You can do so much on Canva. Um, and the good thing about creating your own graphics is you can brand yourself. You know, there are a lot of graphics that are floating around out here, um, but you want to have something unique to you. Okay, so really quickly, all I did, if you go to Canva, create an account on Canva, I have the, I do have the paid version of Canva. However, the paid version is not required um, to use Canva. They just have some upgraded features through the paid version. So drop me um, something in the comments if you can hear me and see me. I'm not seeing, see my screen clearly. So all you want to do is, so this is what I did. Let me show you all for those who haven't seen it. This is the business card that I created. There we go. So this is the business card that I created in Canva. Let's see if it comes up. This is the business card. There we go. Yes. So all I did in Canva is go to create a business card. I made this business card. This template was already created. I added my picture and my personal information, um, and I saved the card. Now, you can actually, if you want to print these business cards, you absolutely can. Um, so I was in a situation the other day where I was down to my last business card, and I took a picture of my business card, and I texted to someone. And I said, well, you know, that's a great idea. I said, but it would be nice to have, you know, like a really nice high-quality picture of a business card, and that way... Um, when you meet people, you can just say, hey, what's your phone number? I can text you my business card or what's your email? I can send you my email card because you know what people do with business cards these days. Most of the time they throw them in the trash. So this way, if they ever think about you, um, they can have something to go back to in their email or their phone. Um, and I thought it was a great idea. I know I'm not the first person to come up with it. So let's just go back really quickly. So you all can see what I did. So in Canva on the main page, um, it says create a design. And right here, they have some templates already made for you. Um, posters, business card, Facebook posts. Uh, right here, we're going to choose business card. This is like my secret weapon. It's great for branding and it's free. Okay, so all of these templates come up on the left-hand side. Um, they have the front and the back. So all you have to do is choose a design that you like, okay? So let's choose one. Let's just choose any one. So you choose a design. See right here it says free. So this is a free design. And from there, all you have to do is click on um, the sample words and type in the box what you want it to say. So I'm going to just take all this out and I'm going to type in my name. I go by Shanita Nicole. And right here I will put independent. Paparazzi consultant. Again, you can put anything you want. If you use paparazzi, just make sure you say paparazzi 
independent consultant. You don't have to use the paparazzi logo, but if you do use the paparazzi logo, you want to use one that's in the back office because those are the ones that are compliant and they are higher quality. Okay, so in Canva, you can, um, basically that's it. So you can add some text. So like, see if I wanted to add my phone number or my website, you can just click on it. I want to drag that down. Let's see if I want to just add my website. That's too many W's. Glam Girls Bling. Dot com. Okay. And that's it. So that is really simple. Um, again, this is a generic template I choose, chose. You can go back the templates and choose any template that you want. Okay, so this is the most important part right here. So after you created your design, okay, and you're happy with your design that you chose right here in the upper right hand corner, when you click on the download button, okay, it is going to come up with the file type and it's going to suggest a PDF print. So if you want to download it as a PDF and then maybe send it to this to print, to print it or whoever to print your cards, you can do that, um, or you can save it as a PNG file, a JPEG file. Um, so that's what I did for my virtual business card. I just saved it as a PNG file, um, and I downloaded it to my computer. Okay. It's going to save to your computer. So when I open that file back up, it should come up. It may not it look, my, my computer's been acting a little weird, but it should come up as a uh, picture of your business card. And all I did was take that picture, email the picture to myself so it can be on my phone, open it up on my phone. I saved the picture to my phone and that's it. There it goes right there. So that is the picture of my business card. Again, you can print these. Um, you can email them to people, to your customers. I just send an email to myself of this picture, okay? And I save the picture of my business card on my phone. So that way, when I meet someone and they say, hey, you know, you got a card? I can say, oh yeah, what's your phone number? What's your email address? I can send it to you. And that's a good way for you to kind of get their contact information as well. So I hope that helps. Um, if you have any other questions, you can drop them in the comments. Okay, you all have a wonderful day. And I will see you.